Okay, again, the reason we're here today, uh, to talk a little bit about Starship Cloud uh, and compare that with Shiftgear and the uh, standalone carrier applications that you may be using with the McColl integration today. Again, my name is Chris Lettner. I'm a sales rep for VTech, and I'll be taking you through the uh, PowerPoint first, then we'll get into the product demo. VTech was founded in the late 80s, first starting with uh, parcel integration for UPS and FedEx. Uh, we've uh, expanded that over the, the years to include uh, quite a number of uh, both uh, national and regional parcel carriers, as well as a whole multitude of uh, LTL and freight options. Uh, we've been working uh, with McCola software since uh, the early 90s, and we have um, integration with uh, Progression, ES, and McCola 10. And I've continued that relationship uh, you know, through the changes in ownership uh, uh, to ECI software today. Uh, currently, there's a customer base of over 10,000 users of the VTech products. So a few things uh, that you may not know about Starship uh, in general, it's a multi-carrier solution, uh, offers you integration from the same platform to small package carriers, LTL, third-party logistics uh, companies, as well as some regional carriers as well. A uh, big difference with the uh, ship gear platform is the ability to bring in line items from your Macola orders that helps you automate the shipping process for international to populate all the commodity detail uh, LTL and filling out your uh, bill of lading NMSC codes uh, also gives you the ability to support EDI where we can uh, integrate with a, um, a EDI solution to help send the a ASN notifications to your trading partners and uh, print out 128 labels for compliance, as well as uh, the ability to support uh, hazardous uh, materials and dangerous goods. Uh, Starship gives you the ability to do a cost comparison and automatically select the best way. So you have access to discounted uh, postal rates with, uh, with the Starship platform and the ability to compare all of your various carriers across uh, both parcel and freight to determine what would be the best way to ship it. And Starship can be set up with uh, logic or rules that would automatically select that for you if you want to take the decision out of the hands of the operator. You have the ability to um, also set up drop shipping or fulfillment on behalf of other entities. So if you have multiple brands that you're shipping under or you have uh, different um, business units within the company, you can set up uh, the, the return addresses to have all the branded uh, logos and um, uh, marketing images that you want to embed within the labels, the documents, and any of the emails. So you can support you know, multiple entities across your entire operation. Starship also offers e-commerce connectors to a number of uh, popular websites and uh, and shopping carts. Those are available um, as extensions uh, to the McCall integration, or we can also hook directly into those shopping carts. Let's quick look at a matrix here that uh, shows you some of the differences between the two platforms. If you are familiar with Shipgear, basically is an add-on to UPS WorldShip, FedEx Ship Manager, so you're in the carrier software and you're able to uh, move data back and forth from the order header with McCola. Uh, Starship would give you uh, both UPS and FedEx by replacing those with uh, carrier web services. It can expand those options across you know, multiple carriers from a single screen, single database with all your history. As I mentioned earlier, the line item integration, so all the product information from the McCola, the parts, uh, the quantities, the SKUs, any of the item level detail will flow into Starship. You have the ability to rate shop and do a cost comparison. Um, we also have add-ons for warehouse management or EDI solutions as well. The ability to process shipments as a batch where you can select a range of orders and run them through provided you have uh, weights and sizes set up for packaging. Uh, also the e-commerce extensions uh, with uh, hooks into the, the various uh, marketplaces and websites and access to the discounted postal rates. So you can see quite a, quite a few enhancements available with the Starship platform. Uh, we have a uh, traditional on-prem install still available as well. We're now also offering 
uh, SaaS where you can uh, pay for the software as you go. There's also a, a prepaid discount. If you pay that for a year out, you get a bit of a discount on the fees. Uh, Starship will have uh, basically collections of modules that are available. Uh, so you can have all the parcel carriers or also all the LTL carriers rather than uh, paying a la carte with the, uh, the on-prem application. Quick look here at some of the carriers and services that are now supported in Starship. Uh, we've introduced a number of uh, new options here in the last year. Uh, we've partnered with uh, CH Robinson, a third-party logistics company, and their platform uh, FreightView, which is a web-based transportation management solution that can be used to expand this list of carriers and 3PLs beyond uh, what Starship can do on its own. So these this represents all of the carriers that we have direct integration to for rating and tendering automation uh, through CH Robinson and FreightView. We can expand that to a whole host of other regional carriers and about 20 different third-party logistics companies as well. Uh, through our module with EasyPost, we've also expanded the integration for Canada. Uh, so we can now support uh, Canadian origins for UPS and FedEx, as well as Canadian carriers like Canpar, Canada Post, and Purolator. And a quick look here at some of the uh, different uh, e-commerce options that are available. I should mention, if you go with the Starship Cloud solution, you'll have access to all the various e-commerce solutions that we offer out of the box. Uh, those are all included with the base price. So you see some names here that you may uh, recognize like Magento and Shopify, Big Commerce, um, or if there's marketplaces that you are selling on like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, uh, we do also have a, a Walmart integration in the works as well. So this list is always expanding. We're continually, continually improving um, our e-commerce offering and adding new carts. If there's a particular solution that you're looking for that you don't see here, feel free to contact myself or your customer account manager. And we'd be happy to take your feedback on that. And with that, we're going to switch over to Starship and I'll take you through a quick demo here. All right, so here's the new uh, user interface for Starship. It's gotten a facelift, so a uh, little bit of a uh, update. Uh, that's available for both the on-prem and the cloud version. Uh, so whether you have it installed locally on your network or you're accessing it from uh, a tenant online, uh, the user interface is now uh, available in a browser. So nice, fresh, clean look here. Um, would be similar to ship here in that you're using the McCullough order number as a key field to retrieve uh, the values uh, coming out of uh, a cola that are mapped. Uh, so basically that order number is, is the thing that you're going to want to enter into the system, similar to the keyed import that you have in ship gear. So you can enter or scan that transaction number here. Um, you also have the ability to view multiple rates, or excuse me, multiple orders down below. So you can multi-select here if you want to batch process. Uh, Starship also has a grouping function available. So if you want to consolidate multiple sales transactions into a single shipment, we can group all of those together. So you can see here we found you know four transactions pending going to the same site. They can ship all those together as well, or you can pick which ones you want to ship together. Uh, Starship also gives you a couple of other order management tools here in, in these views. You can control which fields you can sort on similar to Excel. We also have filters here. And this can be used to drill down into a subset of data if you want to look for, say, a specific purchase order number, you want to focus on just a particular customer, or you want to run through, say, all of your UPS two-day orders at once, you can filter on really any of those fields here in the order header and narrow down that view to exactly what it is that you want to look at. I'll go ahead and pick a transaction here, and I'll get started with shipping. Uh, today, I'll show you uh, some LTL functionality. Uh, so the, the parcel functionality would be similar uh, to what you're doing with uh, with WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager, except you have uh, the uh, the access to the line item details. Um, Starship's information will be pulled from Macola, so you'll see all that populated here. Instead of tabs, you have these widgets here that will display all the information. Um, over here with the ship to address, you'll see the um, 
the green checkbox lets you know that we validated the address as it came over from Macola. It's going to look at the city, state, and zip. We can add the zip plus four if you want to add that postal formatting, abbreviate the street, the boulevard. Uh, we'll get down to the second address level. Also check the type of zone that it is. So we'll flag it if it's a residential address, a rural area, and apply any additional surcharges. If you have EDI enabled, you'll see that turned on here as well. As we mentioned in uh, some of the, the five key points of uh, Starship, you have the ability to set up multiple drop shippers. Uh, so you can have different types of, uh, of uh, return addresses set up here. Each of those can have their own profile. Um, you can have uh, as well uh, a logo and a digital signature assigned with each of uh, your entities that you set up here for the return address. So that can be fully automated. That can be triggered through McColl as well. Make sure that you're sending out information on behalf of the right company who you're shipping for. Uh, your ship via code will translate in Starship here, or you can select those on the fly. Go ahead and pick the carrier here. The Starship will go out and rate this based on the carrier selected. We'll go ahead and retrieve your cost. And then we can also apply any kind of handling fees on top of the rates received from the carrier. As you'll see here, our exposure on the freight is 119.75. We're going to mark this up to 152.71 on the uh, handling fees here. And we can drill down into that as well to see how those were applied to the order. If there's ever any question, you can come back in the Starship and see exactly how you arrived at that dollar amount. We also have the ability to rate shop. So I have my carrier selected here, but we can have Starship go out and hit a number of different carriers, give us a list of options that we can choose from. And uh, Starship could also be set where it, it'll automatically pick the best carrier for you. So if you don't wanna leave that decision up to your operator where they're looking at the rates, um, you, know, you can have your business logic set up in the system and have Starship enforce that for you. So here you'll see Looks like r and came up at the, at the top. We're going to have them picked, but uh, you'll see Starship will rate these here in order of uh, the cost. So you'll have uh, it automatically rated from least to the most expensive. Uh, you can also sort by transit time. So if getting it there in a certain amount of time is more important, we can uh, filter on that as well. There's also a date and time filter. So you can map that over from a call if it's more of a uh, time sensitive shipments. We can narrow down the view even further by only showing you those carriers that can make uh, the, uh, the delivery within the transit time that you've promised. We'll go ahead and process the shipment here. That'll print my bill of lading, my packing list, and the other documents that I may need and push that detail back into McCola. And let's go ahead and process another parcel shipment for you here. Same sort of functionality with parcel. Uh, basically, the ship via code is what drives that logic on when it will uh, come over into Starship and uh, which carrier it should go with. Uh, you can also set up rules in Starship if you want it routed. You have ship via rules that can uh, send it one way or the other. Same idea, it'll go out and based on the service, give you your rates here and calculate any kind of markup. Uh, with the uh, item detail, you can also see the items that are packed within each container. So we can reflect exactly which items and quantities were packed. That lets you do packing lists in the Starship. And the same sort of rate shopping here as well. The parcels, that'll give you a list of different options you can choose from and you can see if we switched it from UPS, we could potentially save a little bit of money by sending it with FedEx or the post office. We'll go ahead and keep it with UPS here. Process our shipment. And again, that'll manifest it with the carrier, print out our labels, our documents, and push that detail back into McCola. Take a look here at some of our document examples. So you can have packing lists printed out on just a plain piece of paper. You also have uh, thermal labels that we can print those on. 
uh, for both a package or a pallet. We have these hybrid forms where you can have a packing list and the shipping label printed together. And all of those can be branded. You can have you know logos and um, company information appear on these documents here. So you have a couple different layouts, your smart labels. You also have the uh, bill of lading. Uh, we can get the bills of lading directly from carriers and through their web services, or you have the option of using um, some of the templates that are built into Starship. You have a straight bill of lading. It's also a VIX bill of lading. And we also have a master BOL. If you do a uh, truckload or multi-stop type of shipment consolidated, um, you have that option as well. And I also mentioned the uh, overseas support. So if you're shipping product outside of the country, uh, there's also the uh, commercial invoice available. And again, sam similar to the bills of lading, you can get those documents right from the carrier or you can use the Starship forms. Those are kind of generic that can be used across multiple services. You have the US, Canada, Mexico paperwork and the shipper's letter of instruction. So I'll show you how we kind of tie that product information in with um, each of the line items. Starship keeps kind of a mirror database of all your Macola data. And it will match on the part number coming out of Macola to fill in the gaps for anything that may not be in the item master. So you have your, you know, your basic part numbers here. And then Starship keeps this other, these other attributes of your products. You know, if it's hazardous, it'll it'll keep that detail here in the database. For freight, we keep track of NMFC codes, freight classes, international, country of origin, schedule B code and description to populate your commercial invoice. We also have um, uh, flags here for the, uh, the US, uh, Canada, Mexico paperwork or the standard uh, uh, certificate of origin. If those are required, those can be flagged at the item level. Uh, we also have some basic packaging. So you can have uh, case packs or prepackaged goods set up with Starship as well. And that can be learned through the process of using the software or you can set up those uh, formulas ahead of time so Starship can pack up your loose products. All right, let's take a quick look back here in Macola. So we'll still continue to update some of the same areas and just have a little more flexibility in terms of the data that's going back and forth between the two systems. You can, uh, similar to ShipGear, you can update the header or the line comments that could be set up as a preference. And we'll put the detail in here when it went out, when it's going to get there, the piece counts, and a little breakdown with the tracking information. We'll also update uh, the freight field on the order or we can put the details with the tracking into the manifest uh, table. So if you have that enabled, we'll populate all that information here as well. Starship also has a SQL extension. So if there's other areas of uh, Macola that you want to get to, uh, we have the ability through SQL to uh, reach in and move data between the two systems. We can even update other um, SQL databases on the uh, network as well. Let's take you into the dashboard. Dashboard is the um, basically the customer service or front office piece of Starship. So anybody with uh, with the, the requirement to access Starship history can come in here. There's some basic um, analytics that will look at your freight spend over a period of time. Give you a little more visibility into the activity out in the warehouse. You can track each user's act, uh, activity so you can see who's being uh, productive. You also have the heat map here where you can see where all the products are going to. And then you have access to history here. That can be accessed with any of the Macola order information, order number, customer ID, PO number, really any of the fields that we have coming out of Macola or anything within Starship can be used to find the shipment and then track that over here in Starship. Go ahead and pull up a shipment here. This does not impact your user licensing. So really anyone in the organization can have access to 
uh, both the rate quoting and the uh, the tracking capabilities with the reporting from the dashboard. So we come in here and look at uh, where the shipment was at, when it was delivered, who signed for it, uh, the cost breakdown, and they'll have access to any documents that were produced. So if you ever need to go back in and reproduce the documents, they'll have access to that here as well. Uh, you can also have documents attached to emails, so they'll have access to um, any of the correspondence with the um, with the customer uh, through the e-notify module. Starship has the ability to send out branded emails, uh, so you can add your your logo and, and include a link so the customer can start tracking uh, the shipments as soon as the order has been processed. And nice thing about doing it through Starship is you can have any kind of attachments for documents that are created included so we can pull any of the records that i showed you any of the export paperwork bills of lading any of the carrier paperwork any of that can be pdf and automatically attached to the emails so hopefully between uh, the information we're writing back into macola all of the uh, uh, access for for the dashboard and then proactively notifying your customers and giving them access to documents um, hopefully that cuts down on the number of customer service calls you're fielding, looking for status, and you can uh, be proactive and get that information into the hands of your customers automatically. Okay, it looks like we're coming up towards the bottom of the hour. I'd like to thank everyone for your time and attention today. Thanks and have a great day.